You say so. what his reaction was. What do you expect his reaction was? I mean, his reaction, his reaction was exactly what would happen if it happened to anybody that I'm looking at now or anybody that's hearing what you're saying. Um, he's, he's frustrated, he's upset, but I'll tell you what, he's motivated and it's not gonna stop him and it's not gonna slow him down. And it's, it's exactly what he expected. And so to that extent, there's no surprise, but he's also, he's also, he's also upset and frustrated and disappointed and mad that this happened. What about the warnings against his, his rhetoric on Twitter? What was the well, There was not a warning. What do you, what do you mean? From, from well, the judge talking about the judge the did not warn. The, the, ju the, the district attorney made a statement um, addressing what they perceived to be um, I'm not sure what the words they use, inappropriate rhetoric of some sort. Um, the, obviously, we responded, and the judge just took it in. The judge didn't warn. He asked the parties to, to consider what they're saying and not saying. Guys, he did not is, admonish the president, no, and that's important. No, there was no admonishment. Did the president not use language that would incite violence or civil unrest? He did he not that request, request. That, the, that the president not use language. He requested that everybody involved refrain from using language that's inappropriate. Talk and by the way, that includes that includes the witnesses, the witnesses for the people um, who are talking just as much as the president. The former president is swinging a baseball bat at the head of the Manhattan DA. Well, I don't know where you got that because if that you was a tweet sent that was, out by the former president. That, no, it wasn't. Tweet. And first of all, first of all, first of all, that picture was not swinging a baseball bat. I mean, if you want to distort the facts, go right ahead. I won't address that. Yes, it is. He wasn't swinging a baseball bat at anyone's head. That was a picture of him showing off an American-made bat. Someone else. Else put a picture of the district attorney next to him and in an article posted that. That's not his article, that's not his photos. That's Guys, here's what we're going to talk about today. Here's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the insufficiency of this case. And I will say this to you. Today's unsealing of this indictment shows that the rule of law died in this country. Because while everyone is not above the law, no one's below it either. And if this man's name was not Donald J. Trump, there is no scenario we'd all be here today. Please understand that based on these charges. What are we going to get tonight when he sees? When? I, yeah, eight o'clock. What are we, we going to hear? I think you I should don't tune know. in. You'll hear it. You should tune in and you'll you hear it. You think we know? You should run the trial Can you? January. Did you think that was realistic? No. Can, Can you guys talk no. about, there's no, a lot of speculation about the unity among the defense attorneys. Look at this. Look, Look at us. Of, is that why you chose Look. to do this? To come, out to come out together? We, we chose, know, we chose to come out together so we could speak with one voice. But there is no disunity here. That's gossip and it's nonsense. And We've been working together and we will be working together. And this, to me, quite frankly, is the best team I've ever worked with, the lawyers. Um, I'm honored to be working with these guys. It's a family. It's a team. And we have one mission and we'll achieve What's that mission.